everyone. Welcome to Roosevelt Rebel with your host, Tisa Rebel Beltran. <laughs> Hi, it's me. How's it going? I recorded an episode last night, but guess what happened? My phone died in the middle of it because I didn't, um, <clears throat> I didn't charge it during work. So it just passed away as I was ranting and raving about things. And um, and then I did record another one just before I started recording this one, but I feel like I went on a way too much of a tangent that was too personal, and I don't want to, you know, deal with people's shit. So, I'm going to go on a special tangent, because since, you know, I've had <clears throat> two walkthroughs of things of episodes um oh my god i am in so much pain so this past weekend we went to the eras tour concert movie and i went with my sisters and my niece and we went to a restaurant before then and the guacamole did not taste good it made me sad it just was like mashed avocado and i'm not going to say the name of the restaurant because the waitress was pretty cool and flirty and i No, they do that, but she was really sweet, and I'm not going to call it out. Um, But it was uh, okay. It wasn't, like, the best, and and it was a Mexican food restaurant, and I feel like because I'm Mexican, I just shit on restaurants that don't have good food. Like, you have to fucking look at my mom. Look at my mom. (laughs) You have to fucking give me something good and if it's not good then i will tell you it's not good because my mom is the fucking cook dude duty pants i'm i've been choking and coughing a lot because like i haven't talked much today and i did have a salty treat i had some popcorn so i usually don't eat popcorn i'm pretty sure i'm probably gonna get sick from it because that's what usually happens i'm gonna apply for this job um So, yeah. Um, So, what's been going on? You just heard that I'm applying for other jobs. So, here's the rundown. I'm just going to give a a short... I'm going to do the abridged version because um, the last one I went totally off. And uh, now I know how to reel it in because I've, you know, like I said, this is my third time recording this episode. So, America. (laughs) America. We have to choose some of us who are not um, lucky in um, certain areas. We have to choose between pay and medical. So, I have a friend who basically had to do that. And they are um, a works for a small business and they're getting paid very good money, but they don't have medical. And then they make too much money to get medical. But open enrollment's coming up, and so they're going to check into that to see if they can afford, hopefully, something, because they're getting older and they want to get checked. <clears throat> so, and we discussed it, and they were like, I am not going to give up my freedom for medical. And I'm like, I had to give up my freedom for medical because I'm at a job, which I haven't got very much of a raise. I've had a like 1.5% raise twice. And uh, we don't get, we have great medical, but there's no room for growth. So that's what I'm doing is looking and seeing if I can find <clears throat> another job because I have skills. They're multiplying. And so I just need to, that looks like a good job, and I will drive all the fucking way out there. So we have to also make a decision about getting ahead, because as I said, uh, uh, you know, looking at these jobs and looking at what I make hourly, and then with my associates right now, and all is close to my bachelor's, I look to see how many jobs are available and what the pay looks like basically it's the same shit that I'm making so then it's kind of disappointing that I'm going to school and then I'm getting a job a career 
making the same amount that I'm making now, but I have to start paying my loans back. So then I'm like, okay, but these other positions that are a little bit paying more acquire a master's degree. So if I go for a master's degree, that's like what, 30 more credits. And then I'm more debt for 30 more credits for a master's degree, but I'm getting paid like $4 more an hour. (sighs) You know what I'm saying? Then it goes into the fucking fact that the job that I'm currently at, they started a new thing that they're capping the sick time that you use every year. So I already did the calculation. You work 40 hours a week, 52 hours, excuse me, 40 hours a week, 52 weeks a year. That's 2,080 hours, at least at my job, because we do work 40 hours a week. And if you're on a holiday, you work that holiday because it's just the way this job is. And it's a 365 day a year job. So I wasn't even going to go to the calculations. So they capped out. So you can accumulate sick time, but you're capped out at 40 hours a year. So I was sick. I had a migraine. It did not go away. It got worse. I got the chills. I thought it was COVID. I did the test and I did not get it, but I still was feeling like dookie. So I called out of work and used my sick time. So I thought. I told my supervisor I tried to put it in to the thing that and it wouldn't take, but I did put it in for the other thing because we have to put it in like two, three things for us to fucking take any time off. And he was like, well, I'll look into that. And he looked into it and he said, you hit your 40 fucking hours. Well, actually, you had 34 hours, so you can use six hours of sick time, but you're still going to get a verbal warning and two points. So if you get like eight points, you're fired. Verbal warning equals you get two. It's a verbal warning and two points. So is this fair? No. Out of 2,000 80 hours a year, you're only allowed 40 of those hours to be sick time, but you're still working 2,040 hours, but you can't get sick. What kind of shit is that? And I didn't even look into to see if they're capping our fucking um, PTO time. That's a whole nother shit, right? How can businesses have that much power? It's not fair. I'm in March for my birthday for that week. I was sick for the whole fucking week and it sucked. I was at my worst and I was still working. And then that Tuesday I was like, I can't fucking work. I am too sick to do this. And I went to the doctor and guess what? I still got in trouble for the doctor's note meant shit because I didn't have sick time then. That makes no sense, right? In March, I didn't have sick time. Okay, yeah, because it hadn't accumulated yet. So, I got a verbal warning then, and it go to goes away after 90 days. So, right now, I have a verbal warning again because I was sick again, and I have a shitty immune system. Ever since I was a fucking baby, I fucking have been sick all the time. And so, as I'm getting older, and now with diabetes and the fibromyalgia and every fucking thing else that's wrong with me... I get sick and I'm working on it. I really am. <clears throat> so that's why I'm looking for another job because I'm tired of fucking putting my health at risk and being unable to take sick time. Yes, I understand that I work from home, but they're going to want us to go back into the office and like, <clears throat> That's going to get me even more sick because I have a sickly, I'm sickly. I'm a sickly person. But anyhow. And as I was saying, you know, I can look for another job with my degree and it's making the same money that I'm making now. So why did I start school? Unless I fucking push even harder. It's just frustrating. America is frustrating. And it sucks that we have to give up something. Like, we have to give up. We have to either 
choose a high paying job with no benefits and then still be unable to fucking be approved for low paying fucking medical because we make too much or we get paid shitty and have good benefits. Where are we winning? And then there's no room for growth. Like, what are we supposed to do? You know, like, how are we supposed to get ahead in life? That's, that's what's, that's what it, the government's not letting us do. It's not letting us get ahead in life. So how can we make it better? Vote. When we see how that's going every fucking shitty fucking way, you know? I'm just going to apply for this. I have, like, all the skills, but guess what? We'll see what happens. Ugh. This is Chandler. I don't know, man. I'm just trying the best to get ahead and stay above water. And paying like $2,000 for a studio apartment is not it, you know? How is anybody going to afford shit, you know? And then I'm like, I should have bought a house 10 years ago. We can't go back in time. This isn't Back to the Future or Totally Killer. (laughs) Uh, Anyhow, that's my ranting and raving. But me and my sisters went to the fucking Ares tour. It was amazing. And it, or not the tour, the movie. And it wasn't as bad as like people are making it sound out to be. Because in our theater, there wasn't any like craziness. <clears throat> only for a couple songs that the, the crowd got up and like danced, like shake it off, of course. And, uh, it was good. It was a good time. They ran out of the popcorn buckets cause I wasn't going to stand in line. And then like when the line died down, I went and I was able to get a cup. People are selling the cup and the fucking bucket for, I think it was $200 marked down to 175. And then another person was selling it for 30. Like it's just insane out there. These people, It's just insane. Like, even the person had a list of the things. Like, I'm selling this for this much, this for that much. I have this many things. I have seven batons. I have this. And it's just like, holy shit. This is insane. Go to small business, you guys. Go to small business. Small business have better merch. I'm sorry, Taylor Swift. I love you. But the small businesses have better merch than she does. Except for the, like, Seagull one. I'm kind of digging on that one. But I'm not going to spend $100 on it. Because that's ridiculous. I spent a $50 on... Oh, that's where I went Saturday. Chelsea Handler. I spent fifty $50 on a Chelsea Handler t- shirt. I spent $50 on a Guns N' Roses shirt only because it was the Phoenix version for the Guns N' Roses one and it had like a bunch of Phoenix stuff on it. Chelsea Handler because I love her. And um, it was such a great show. We went there this weekend. Me and Shauna, her husband and my brother went and then my friend Carrie Ann and her boyfriend went. It was just a good fucking time. I'm telling you. It was just a good fucking time. I laughed the whole thing. Uh, Vanessa Gonzalez opened and she was hilarious and amazing. <clears throat> and that's the thing. I need to stop talking about like politics and stuff like that because it just makes me angry. Now I understand my father because he is angry all the time. It feels like because it's just like a, obsessed with politics and like always ranting and raving all the time and nobody wants to hear it because they're just sick of Trump. And so maybe that's what I just need to stop focusing on the sadness of the politics of America because I just need to focus on the good things that are going on. Like all the shows that I'm going to, maybe that's, that's the ticket. And usually I do, but I think um, just talking to my friend and I, and then like them being upset over them being sick and not being able to afford shit. I think it just like really just shows how much shit is going on in the world. And there's not any way that we can fix anything sometimes. And it's just so frustrating. It's just frustrating. And then sometimes I'm like, well, maybe I'll go work for the government and become a fucking correctional officer (laughs) or fucking, it's hot in here. I need to put the air on. Hold on. I'm yawning. I apologize. But they get paid really fucking good though. Like sign on bonus of $8,000. Um, if you're, CODA certified? I don't even know what that means. Uh, Drug-free workplace. Sorry. (laughs) Just kidding. 
<clears throat> I don't know, man. It's just, it's just a crazy world. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm just glad that the music is there to make me feel better and the comedy. Because if we just focused on the bad shit, like, how horrible would our lives be? I'm thankful that we're out of the pandemic. <clears throat> Pardon me. The COVID is still around. And um, music is back on. And I'm going to all these shows. And, like, that's my happy place is going to see people perform. And it's just good shit yo and it's not the toxic positivity that i've talked about before where it's like keep your head up and do this like a lot of white people <laughs> make good money off of toxic positivity like they become like millionaires over toxic positivity and maybe i should do that maybe that's a way to make it <clears throat> but i won't because I'm a rebel. I'm a Roosevelt rebel, bitches. And I got stickers for sale. I have Roosevelt rebel, the new logo sticker. And I have the uh, uh, Rebel Riot podcast new stickers as well. And I still have the Shot About It hats available. There's only three left. $25 each. Hit me up. I'm working on a fucking website. I'm trying to make a decision on it. Um, so I can sell them through there. And then also sell it, sell them on there. And then like... Get it connected through the um, Instagram. So I'm trying. I'm learning all these things, and it's it's like it's like you got to spend money to make money. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, Erisher, great. Chelsea Handler, amazing. Dinner with my sisters, beautiful. Uh, what else happened this weekend? We're doing more fun shit. And I'm just excited because it's fall. And um, I think we're going to try to do some ghost tours. I'm going to fucking sell my virginity. <laughs> I'm a 44-year-old virgin. <clears throat> oh, my God. Anyway. I'm tired of, like, I think I had too much salt because I had some popcorn. So I think that's what's going on with my, my voice tonight. And I'm um, drinking lots of water and it just feels like it's not getting any better. But I can't become a correctional officer because what is the, what do you need? Taking a shift, state employee. It's working for Maricopa County, I think. <clears throat> And it's not very good pay to put your life on the line, I feel like. Next. You are putting your life on the line, you know? Because these people can kill you. It's been known. Fucking people. So, yeah. I'm just wanting to... Oh, yeah, this is what I was going to look at. What do I need for this one? But, like, yeah. Like, it's just really crazy what's available out there and like i said you fucking um start out one way and then it turns out to be another and like you're just trying your hardest to fucking commission pay to work for a community outreach what kind of horseshit is that that's probably a fake fake account or a fake job because why would you work on commission <clears throat> come with me and scroll through the jobs this one's close to my house have i already applied for it i think it's gonna i think it might have oh nope i haven't let's just fucking do it like i'm just applying for jobs that are good money like i said i'm going to school but who knows what's gonna happen because if i go for my master's that's like what it could be one to two more years of work, school, and I get more in debt. And then it's like, I don't know, man. 
you have to be logical and i feel like i've become more logical in the past since the pandemic because before i feel like i was over i wasn't toxic positive i didn't have toxic positivity but i had i wasn't i was a dreamer and like that's what a lot of people associate me with is dreaming and being a dreamer and so like when they say, oh, that's a Pisces thing, I'm like, dude, I grew out of that shit. I'm a fucking logical person now. But I still do have some dreams. And, like, I'm not, it's not a downer thing. I'm just reality. Like, I'm full of reality. And and I have the positivity of a person that's logical. <laughs> Being realistic here. It's so hot in here. <clears throat> but, yeah. Um, yeah, just keep me talking about fucking, like, music. I think that's where my heart and soul is, is with my music and with, like, painting and all those things. I think that's where my heart and soul is, and that's where it keeps me in a good spot, honestly. Because all of these other things over here is not keeping me in a good, healthy spot. Like, so maybe I should go to school for fucking art therapy. Like, be an art therapist. <clears throat> because honestly, it feels like that's the way, the route I need to go. I think I need to talk to my mentor a little bit more about it. But yeah, I, I don't want to come off like I'm a, a poopy pants, like I'm a shit face. I'm like a downer. I'm not a Debbie downer. I'm just like in a mood right now because my people can't get health insurance, you know? And so that just makes you, it just puts a damper on you your thought process sometimes. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to fucking applying for jobs and watching ghost things. That's what I'm going to fucking do. Fucking two days ago, I was watching ghost shit and fucking Shauna called me and like scared the shit out of me because my phone was all the way up. The volume was and like it started ringing and I was like, oh my fucking God. I didn't realize how loud it was until like you're in a quiet room and just watching ghost things. <clears throat> so but, oh, and another thing that happened. So I did post on my Facebook and I was just like, Selena Spooky Boo and Call Me Chris have the best fucking shit. They're better than ghost hunting on TV. Da, da, da. And then she, Selena Spooky Boo said, love you. I fucking love her. I would like to hang out with them. And my mental illness would probably get worse with them because like they fucking let their shit go deep when it goes to ghost hunting. Like they give themselves up um, completely. They're vulnerable and like they let the spirits in and like i haven't done that shit and i probably sound like a cuckoo but i don't care because i believe in this shit and a lot of people don't believe in this shit but i do um because i believe that there are spirits out there I believe in the spirit world because there has been evidence and um so yeah i feel like if I just let my fucking self go, if I was with them, I feel like I would be in a mental hospital because even in one episode, she fucking got into, the, she went to the hospital that they fucking took her to the hospital during one episode because she, her high blood, she got high blood pressure and was freaking out because she, she was like getting too in tune with shit. And like, I've been there and like, that's why I cut it off like years ago. Like I'm going to be completely honest, like 20 years ago, I turned it off. And if you open yourself up to that kind of shit, it could get scary. And uh, maybe I should. Maybe I should gamble here. I don't know. But it's spooky season. Who knows what we need to do. But this weekend I got plans. I'm going to do some fucking fall shit. Scary movies. Fucking painting. And and also fucking farm. And pumpkins. And chili. And I will update you soon about all these things because I've been doing really good at at least having one episode a week. So I'm going to continue to do it, I'm sticking to it. And I'm going to hopefully have a new website up and then have the fucking live episodes up. I'm working on all these things. There's a lot of good shit coming at ya. You hear me? Thank you for tuning in. My name is, uh, mud. Just kidding. Tisa rebel Beltran. Check me out on all the socials underscore rebel underscore riot underscore on instagram og underscore tr beltran on instagram on facebook tisa beltran there's like two of them on there there's my music page and then there's my regular page that you can follow there is also tr beltran where i post stuff on 
So just check it out. Just check me out. And then Rebel Riot LLC on Facebook. So check out the Facebook. Check out the Instagram. Thug underscore sunshine on um, TikTok. I put up maybe two this week. I'm just not doing it as much because I'm trying to stay off my phone. And I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and actually doing business planning. So thanks for tuning in. I love you. Bye-bye.